Hey guys, my name's Andrew. I'm a GRE instructor here on wiseant.com, and I wanted to give you just a little taste of what this online platform can do. Um, to that end, I have a practice question that we can tackle together here, straight from the horse's mouth. This is official GRE material, so let's take a look. If one over the quantity two to the power of 11 times five to the power of 17 is expressed as a terminating decimal, how many non-zero digits will the decimal have? If you want to pause the video right now and, and just reread that, go for it. I'll wait. Um, if you need a definition, the word terminating simply means that the number ends. So instead of a number that goes on and on forever, like a third, 0.33333, it has, a, has an ending. And then, of course, non-zero means not zero. If we see a zero, we can get rid of it. We don't care about it. So let's take a look at this problem here. The first step for any GRE problem is to categorize. You need to be able to look at any problem on the GRE and say, aha, I see exactly what they're testing. In this case, clearly, just based on this nasty denominator down here, they want to test your exponent skills. And your first instinct might be to reach for, for your calculator. You do get a calculator on the GRE, but it's, it's limited. It's a scientific calculator. It only has eight spaces. And clearly, whatever monster decimal we get here is going to be longer than eight spaces. So calculator is not going to help us. We actually need to use some logic. Actually need to do some work. Let's remember what exponents are fundamentally. They're abbreviations, right? An exponent is a way to shorten a large amount of information. Instead of saying 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 11 times, we can simply say 2 to the power of 11. But for the sake of the problem, let's actually do that. Let's write out what this is. It's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, dot, 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 11 times, times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, dot, 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 17 times. And then, of course, we have 1 hanging out up here. The key skill, the aha trick to recognize here, is that it doesn't matter what order you multiply terms in a problem. 5 times 5 times 5 times 2 times 2 times 2 is the same thing as 5 times 2 times 5 times 2 times 5 times 2, or 2 times 5 times 2 times 5 times 2 times 5. It doesn't matter. When we start doing that, when we start matching these 5s and 2s, so saying 2 and 5 and 2 and 5 and 2 and 5, something pretty neat happens. We get a 10. How many 10s do we get? Well, think of it like this. If I have 11 twos and 17 fives, how many pairs of twos and fives can I make? Well, I can make 11, right? Before I run out of twos. And then I'm left over with how many fives? Six. So what this boils down to is one over 10 to the power of 11 times five to the power of six. And if that's not crystal clear to you, then I would encourage you, just for, for practice here, to write out all 11 twos, all 17 fives, match as many twos and fives as you can, and see how many fives you have left over. So what we're left with here is one over 10 to the 11 times five to the six. Now, what is 10 to the 11? It's a pretty big number, right? But I could describe it, it's one with 11 zeros, it's just 10 times 10 times 10, 11 times. Remember though, we're only interested in the non-zero digits. That's what this problem is about. So what does this term add? Well, not much except a whole bunch of zeros. If I go one divided, or if I'm sorry, multiply the bottom terms together, I'm gonna get five to the power of six with a bunch of zeros at the end, and I do one divided by that number, all 10 to the 11 is going to add is a bunch of zeros. So for that reason, I can just ignore it. I can say, I don't really care about this. It's not going to get me closer to finding out how many non-zero digits there are in the final number. What will is focusing on this. Uh, five to the power of six is a much, much more manageable number, and it will, it will fit into your calculator. I'll save you the time and hassle of doing it. It comes out to 15,625. So what I have here is one divided by 16, excuse me, 15, 625. And when I do that division, what I get is 
0 0.00000 bunch of times 64 meaning that i have two non zero digits in this problem again if i had kept that if i had kept that 10 to the power of 11 in all it would have done is add to the number of zeros before the 6 and the 4 it would not have changed the number of non zero digits in the problem so again the answer to this one is 2 thank you for checking out this video Feel free to check out my profile and message me directly if you have any questions about this. Again, my name is Andrew, and I would love to help you work on the GRE. Take care.